Once you guys got another video, Microsoft have made an alternative to C Cleaner. It's called Microsoft's PC Manager, and basically they are claiming that it will boost your PC, clean your system and free up space and boost PC performance. Of course, we've heard all of this jargon before from other sites like C Cleaner and other sites that claim to do a lot of this stuff by using software like this. Manage your storage. Give your PC a spring clean and manage large files and use Storage Sense to let Windows free up your storage for you. That is built into Windows itself. And then you've got pop-up management, which reduces ads and pop-up interruptions. Enjoy a cleaner, uninterrupted computer experience. That's really funny, since they're the one that are adding ads into their operating system. Also, health check, find and fix issues fast and scan and clean frets with one click. And of course we have toolbox and mini toolbar. We're gonna to take a look at this after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to pay. They will send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows just like this. Okay, so let's take a look at Microsoft's PC Manager. As you can see here, boost your PC performance. This is a common term to use to make you feel like you can boost your PC performance by using an application like this. PC Boost, free up your PC resources. All it's gonna do is basically empty out your temporary files and clean any sort of uh, cache on the system. Also, boost settings here. PC Manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there is one gigabyte of temporary internet files. So basically, you can toggle that on and it will clear it out automatically for you. And then you've got your shortcut settings down here. You can restore back to defaults there, but this will help you uh, create uh, your own shortcut settings. Down here, we've got our general settings here, and this will make uh, the actual PC manager start up when you boot the PC up for the first time. That's gonna be running in the background. Early access, gain early access to experience the latest features. So when they release new features for this app, you will be first in the queue. Also, auto update PC manager. This means it's gonna be updated on a regular basis. You can see there is an update here, so I'll quickly do this and get the latest version just to see if there's any new features on here. And you've got your appearance here and your language. Let it just open back up. There we go, we're back at the welcome screen right here. So once updated, we'll go back to the general settings. You can change your appearance to light or dark mode, uh, depending on uh, what you wanna use. So I'm gonna put this back to dark mode here. And again, uh, you've got some other options down here as well, like your language and also about us, which tells you about the program itself. And it wants you to join the Microsoft PC Manager pop-up plan. So you can do that if you want. I'm not gonna be bothering that. More pop-ups and more junk. One minute they're trying to stop pop-ups and now they're gonna give you more pop-ups. Let's go back to the protection here. You've got your virus and threat protection there and your Windows updates. And it tells you at a glance, basically, uh, some system protection settings here. Default browser settings, you can change that right here. And taskbar repair, basically all this is gonna do is if you're using any sort of third party apps for your taskbar to change the transparency and things like that, it's just gonna remove all that and repair it and put it back to default settings. And hopefully your taskbar will suddenly start working again. So nothing too uh, exciting, but moving on down to restore default apps, you can restore these uh, back to their default settings if you've changed them. And you can see here, it says PDF documents are open with Google Chrome, so you can change that if you wish. Going on down to pop-up management, and you can enable the pop-up block here, and this will stop any sort of pop-up in Windows apps. So they're the ones that are creating the pop-ups uh, for their particular stuff, so if you wanna block those, you can do it there. Deep clean, again, this is just a system cleaner to remove any junk files or anything like that we'll take a look at that in a second but you've got your files to clean your downloaded files your large files so if you have some large files on a particular disk you can find those and delete those 
And we also have duplicate files here. So if you've got any duplicate files on any of your drives, you can do a scan for those and remove them. So let's take a look at the duplicate file scanner. Basically, you run a scan here and it will tell you whether you have any duplicates of those files. Great way to clear up uh, storage. If you're on limited storage, you can go through here and remove any duplicate files, whether they be documents, pictures, compressed folders, video, audio or other. I do find the duplicate file finder very useful to have, especially if you have a lot of data. It's quite useful to use something like this. So it's nice to see that they've uh, got something like this on here. And again, that is your duplicate files. We have storage sense down the bottom, automatically clean up temporary files, and that will clean up your system. But that is also built into Windows as well. So it's just going to use storage sense. Let's have a quick look at the deep cleanup here. If you hit scan, it's basically going to do application cache and all your usual suspects like temporary files, Microsoft Defender logs, Windows updates, uh, cleanup. And you've got also some other areas here, which is like your third party application cache, maybe Steam or your browser or NVIDIA drivers or any of that stuff. You can see here OneDrive and you've also got some device driver packages, which actually has 6.2 gigabytes. And you can clean those out if you wanted to. And there's some other Windows upgrade installation uh, files there and they can hold quite a few but you can check mark what you like here and then proceed and it will clean all of those go to your apps management area and this is where you can end a task for any sort of application that might be using up a lot of system resources again you can do this inside task manager but it's in one's application here and you can manage it right here also your startup applications again this can be done also in windows but again, they've added it to the PC manager tool here and maybe they'll embed this in some way into Windows. I really don't know. But at the moment, it's an application, but you can uh, take care of all your startup apps. Installed apps, it takes you straight to the installed app section right here and you can uh, take care of those and your Microsoft Store as well. Moving on down to your toolbox. Again, you can toggle this on to show the toolbox on the desktop here. And all this is going to do is basically give you access to your screenshots, your screenshot folder, your recorder, your captions, notepad, calculator, and things like that. And there's also web tools down here, which is your Bing translator and other things like currency converter and things like that, which are also built into Windows as well. You've got your add a custom link on there as well, if you wish. And also you've got your all set. You can see here your PC is using the recommended settings to be secure. So it's checked all of that stuff. So this is basically what the Microsoft PC manager is. Nothing to get too excited about at the moment. Uh, you've got your feedback section there where you can give them some feedback. And this will be rolled out to the general public very soon. But you can download it and check it out right now. You've also got your health check here. Basically, it's just going to run a scan on your system and it's going to basically check up uh, a bunch of stuff like browser cache, Windows cache, temporary files, system logs, and so on, and a bunch of other things there. And you can run that on your system. So if you're looking for a free alternative uh, compared to C Cleaner, you can use something like Microsoft's PC Manager. Now, is it exactly the same as C Cleaner? No, it's just another cleaning program that will give you a placebo of a PC boost by running it on your system. All it's going to do is basically clean out a bunch of junk files, temporary internet files, clean your browser cache and things like that, and make it feel like you've got a faster PC after running it. But it really doesn't speed up your PC at all. Microsoft support policy for the use of registry cleaners utilities. They actually made a post about it to tell you that they don't support the use of registry cleaners or programs like these. And again, that was posted on their website. So really, why, why they've made a program like this, I really don't know. In my opinion, it's just another junk piece of software that you're going to be installing on your system. And you can do a lot of this stuff built into Windows if you wanted to. Again, CCleaner, I'm not a big fan of it anyway. And using buzzwords like boost your PC performance and speed up your PC and things like this, a lot of these companies do this to try and pull you in and make you end up paying for the pro versions 
that they have on their websites like CCleaner and a bunch of other ones out there. I've done videos on this before. They're not worth paying for. And uh, to be honest, they're a little bit of snake oil to try and make you feel like you're getting a faster PC when really it's just clearing out junk files on your computer. So let me know in the comments section below what you think of Microsoft's PC Manager. I'll be happy to read those comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.